Hey beauties and welcome back to Beauty's World. So today I'm gonna be doing a period hack video. So if you wanna see what hacks I got in store for you guys, make sure you stay tuned. But before we get into this video, please make sure you subscribe. Click that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And we're gonna go ahead and just dive right in. All right, you guys, so yes, it's that time of the month for me and I got this bright idea that, hey, I should do a period hack video because you know, it could be a struggle at that time of the month. I mean, you feel bloated, you have cramps, you feel tired, the list just goes on and on and on and on and on. So I just wanted to show you guys a few secrets and tips and tricks that I do when I am on, you know, when Aunt Flo comes to visit. Even though she's not wanted sometimes, but she's wanted all the time, you know, that double whammy. You can't live with her, but you can't live without her. That type of thing. So really quickly, I'm just gonna share with you guys some tips and tricks and yeah. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing I wanna to recommend to you guys is to get a period tracker. There's so many on the market, you can just go on your app store, pick a free one and just track your period, you guys, because that's gonna let you know whenever your period's coming on, your ovulation days, all that good stuff, so you can be well prepared when that time of the month hits. What I hate most is when my period surprises me and comes on at the most awkward moment and you don't have anything to use, so you don't wanna be stuck in one of those bad situations, so make sure you get a period hacker period hacker so make sure you get a period tracker so on that time of the month of course we're gonna be sleeping in the bed and you're gonna have those little oopsies and you know and you don't want to ruin your sheet so I suggest you put a towel down before you lay down and that's gonna definitely put a barrier between yourself and your sheet so that you don't ruin them I also recommend you wearing overnight pads that's gonna be the really really long ones and this one is gonna give you extra protection because it's super super duper long so even if you don't wear pads and you wear tampons you definitely want to still wear a pad to bed just in case it leaks through and this is gonna be extra long so however way you like to lay this is gonna give you that extra protection so that you don't leak on your bed and I love this one because it's super thin you guys super duper thin so you're not really even gonna feel it and it does hold a lot of you know it holds a lot of it. And this one pad gives you eight layers of protection. Loving this, you guys. So my next hack, and this is gonna be the sponsor of the video, it's from Cherish. And these are pads that have that magnetic pull. It has ions and all kind of other good stuff for your body. So I've heard when people wear this, like a couple of days, maybe before your period comes on, it makes your cramping that much less. So, so if you get these, try that tip. Try to wear it at least one or two days before and see if that does work for you guys. Me personally, I don't have cramps that much so I tried it out but I really don't have cramps like that so lucky me I know all in all I really really do love these pads it's better than any pad I've ever worn you guys because it's super duper thin super thin this is the liner right here but let me show you guys like this overnight one it's just as thin almost as the liner can you see that so definitely if you don't like the feeling of a pad on you you barely feel this. I'm wearing it right now. I'm wearing the daytime one and I don't feel it at all. So you guys definitely pick you up some of these. On average, a woman uses 15,000 tampons or pads, you guys, in their lifetime. That is a whole lot of chemicals that people are using these days. So I like to use natural pads. So this you're definitely gonna love because it's super duper thin. You can see the difference in the sizes. This is the overnight and this is the nighttime. They're all extra thin. Tanning liners looks like this. It has that little thing in the middle. There's no fragrance. So you're not gonna get those yeast infections and bacteria infections whenever you use these. Do you guys know that we wear tampons and pads over 100,000 hours in your lifetime? Can you imagine being in a tampon or a pad for 100,000 hours? So you wanna make sure that, that you're definitely using the best product possible to put on your body because imagine all those hours of those random brands that have all those chemicals inside that's getting in your body, you guys. So you wanna make sure you go for something natural, something that's really gonna help your body out. 
So definitely go ahead and pick up these. I will leave a link in the bottom bar below. I'll leave more information on that brand. Another thing, I know it's not really typical for people, but stay active. I know at that time of the month you wanna relax, you wanna lay down, you wanna sleep, you wanna be lazy, you wanna eat a lot, sleep a lot, all that good stuff. But being active is gonna make you wake up, make your body feel better, and everything is just gonna flow a lot better for you if you stay active. So go on a walk down the street to the park, whatever you wanna do, that's gonna really, really help you out. Stay away from salt. Salty things are not gonna be your best friend. I know it tastes so good and you're gonna be craving it, but if you don't wanna feel bloated, because you're already gonna be bloated, so you don't wanna add salt on top of it and make yourself double bloated. I mean, if there's such, there is a such thing because you can't get more bloated, so yeah. You can get double bloated. So stay away from salty things. Try to eat more fruits and vegetables, things like that, and you're gonna make your bloatingness less of a problem. Another thing, get enough rest, you guys. You need to have enough rest because if you don't, it's gonna make you even more tired. It's gonna make that time in the month that much more miserable. So you wanna make sure you get at least eight hours of sleep. I like to go for 10, maybe 12, because I'm a sleepy head. I need my, I need my beauty sleep. And sometimes I have insomnia, not even sometimes, all the time I have insomnia. So I use melatonin and I use the one milligram, I think it is. So I like to take two droplets of that, so that'll make about two grams. And I go to sleep like a baby every night. Of course, we all know heating pads. I don't have one here with me right now, but I will show you guys how to make an at-home DIY heating pad right now. All you need is a Ziploc bag and some water, pop it in the microwave for one or two minutes, and you have your own DIY heating pad. <laughs> Hot showers, you wanna heat up your body because when you heat up your body, you're heating up your uterus and that's just gonna be like a little lullaby for your uterus. It's gonna make be more calm, a little bit more relaxed. But those cramps will be a little bit less, so take long hot showers, you guys. Stay hydrated. Already, if you're dehydrated, you're gonna get a lot of cramps, so you don't wanna add that on top of yourself. So you wanna make sure you stay hydrated even more than before because you're just gonna need that extra boost, you guys. So I would recommend at least 10 cups of water I'm getting thirsty right now. Woo, yes. I recommend getting like a little bottle like this. This one tells you how much ounces is inside. Every day I try to do at least two of these bottles. I refill it at least once a day, so I try to get down two of these, and that definitely helped me keep track of how much water I'm drinking. Wear comfy, fluffy socks, you guys. Keep your feet nice and warm because your feet, I don't know what it is, but whenever your feet is warm, your whole body kind of warms up and that's gonna warm up your uterus also and make those cramps a little bit less a little bit less on you guys. So you wanna make sure you keep those socks on. So my ladies out there that's in school or go to work, and you don't wanna, you know, have everybody knowing that you're on your period, a nice little hack that I have is take your little Altoid container or some kind of container that's around this size, empty it out, and you can put whatever you want inside. You can put your tampons, your pads, any of that stuff inside. You can put some medication and just drop it right in your purse. And no one is the wiser. Another hack that I like to use is how I hide my cards and my money. I would take a pad that I'm not using, you guys. You're gonna open it up and you're gonna put your money and your cards and all that good stuff inside. Close it up, stick it in your purse. So if somebody does wanna go through your purse and try to take something, they're definitely not gonna go for your pad. So, nice little trick. So for those times that you're not keeping track or your period likes to just pop up on you and say hi, I'm here, and you're probably at work or at school or wherever, you wanna go ahead and go to the bathroom, clean up, and you can use tissue for a temporary panty liner. Just gonna wrap it around your fingers like this and leave some excess out, and you're gonna wrap that around your panties. And that's gonna give you a layer of protection also until you can get to a tampon or a pad. Wear loose fitting clothes, you guys. You wanna be comfortable. Tight clothes is just gonna make everything much more annoying. It's just, uh, you just wanna be loosey goosey. In this case, it's good to be loose. <laughs> yeah, I went there. Like sweats or whatever, just make sure you're very comfortable. Another thing, wine, if you're of age, it's gonna definitely keep you very relaxed and make everything that much more better for you at that time of the month. Mm. And I just throw in a little bit of watermelon, hydrating also, yummy. And also I recommend that you use baby wipes 
definitely have baby wipes on hand to wipe up around that area because you're gonna be kind of you know extra messy it's gonna look like a murder scene sometime down there and you want to just keep it clean but make sure you're not you know actually going inside with that because you don't want to cause any kind of yeast infection so I would suggest that you use that around the area just to keep it nice and fresh and yes I love me some baby wipes and my last tip, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bounce on you guys, is to not over extend the time that you're wearing your tampon or pad. If it recommends six hours, don't go 10 hours. Don't do that, you guys, because you're opening yourself up for infections, for uh, toxic shock, all that bad stuff. So definitely go the recommended time for each of the products that you're using. Mm -hmm. You never tried like sweet red wine, like fruits? I love to drink this whenever I'm PMSing. Oh. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys love the hacks that I showed you. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Click that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And make sure you check out my latest video here and what YouTube thinks that you would like the most. And I will see you guys in my next one. Yeah, I think so. <laughs>